very warm welcome to arihant online academy and here we are going to discuss very very important mcqs of sorting algorithms if you are preparing for any computer science exam then you must have to attempt this this session very very important this will gonna very helpful for your all upcoming exam so just let's start with the question number one the given array is okay an array is given to us and the array is three comma four comma five comma two comma six comma one the number of iterations in bubble sort and selection sort respectively are so we need to find that how many iterations will take place if we sort this array with bubble sort and by selection sort so you all at the initial step you can say that this is an unsorted array isn't it this is unsorted array so if our array is unsorted array then bubble sort will take n iterations bubble sort will take n iterations when our array is unsorted so n is the number of elements in the array how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so six iterations will be taken by bubble sort okay guys and for the selection sort basically selection sort is very very insensitive to the sorting order whatever sorting order our array may have whatever it will always take n minus one iteration it will always take n minus one iteration n is number of elements that is five iterations will be taken by selection sort okay so six and five respectively is the answer option a is the correct answer guys the next question is the given array is 2 comma 3 4 5 6 bubble sort is implemented with a flag variable okay the number of iterations in selection sort and bubble sort respectively are so i said earlier to you that selection sort is insensitive to the order of to the order of uh, given array whether it is sorted or unsorted it is always take n minus 1 iteration so how many iterations will selection sort will take n minus 1 that is 4 and bubble sort is there if array is sorted if array is already sorted then bubble sort will only take one iteration because it is sorted if it is not sorted then it will take an iteration but if it is sorted then it will only take one iteration so option d that is 4 and 1 is the correct answer the next question is what is an external sorting algorithm option a algorithm that uses tape or disk during the sort option a itself is the correct answer we do not know go to option b c and d because if our algorithm is using any extra memory any extra memory outside main memory if you are using any extra memory then we are said that it is an external sorting algorithm and disk and tape are the they are the external they are the extra external memory types so option a is the correct answer guys the next question is what is the worst case complexity of bubble sort so bubble sort worst case time complexity you all know that it is order of n square option d is the correct answer very easy question you must have to remember it the next question is what is the advantage of bubble sort over other sorting techniques what is the advantage of bubble sort option a it is faster option b consumes less memory option c detects whether the input is already sorted or not yes option c is the right answer the advantage of bubble sort is it detects uh, at the earliest that whether our array input array is sorted or not because in its first iteration it will detect that whether the array is sorted or not if it is not sorted then it will take n iterations but if it is sorted it will just completed all the sorting process in first iteration as well so it is very easier to detect whether input is sorted or not with the help of bubble sort so it is the advantage of it option c is the correct answer the next question is which of the following is not a stable sorting algorithm in its typical implementation which is not a stable sorting algorithm so insertion sort is there merge sort is there quick sort is there and bubble sort four options are there but before that you need to know that what is stable sorting algorithm a stable sorting algorithm is the that suppose in a in an unsorted order suppose two elements are similar for example five 
seven, seven, three, one. It is unsorted order. Then it's a sorted order also. One. Then at the second position five. At the third position seven, th three. Sorry, three. Then five. One, three, five, seven, and seven. So this seven should be at the earliest order, and this seven should be here. Means the sequence of similar elements are aren't changing. The sequence of same elements, same keys, isn't changing in the sorted order as well. It is called as stable, unless it is called as unstable. So bubble sort is the only algorithm, only sorting algorithm, in which this stability maintains. Okay, so option D is the correct answer. Guys, I am requesting you please subscribe our YouTube channel, press the bell icon button, and like the video so that at least we can get response from you, you guys. That whether you are liking this uh, important MCQs and interesting MCQs or not, because this will gonna very very helpful for your all upcoming CSIT exams. However, it will also helpful for your placement purpose as well. So this is very very important sessions which we are discussing nowadays. So please show your response, like our video, comment your queries if you any kind of doubts or query, comment us. We will try to solve your all queries and doubts as early as possible from our side. Okay. So guys, please subscribe, share it with your friends in your group, in your study group, so that all can study together and we can do productive study together. The question number seven is the complexity of merge sort algorithm is so you all know that there is a best case complexity, there is a average case complexity, and there is a worst case complexity. But here we do not mention that which complexity we need to know, we need to answer. But for the merge sort, best case complexity is also order of n log n. Average case complexity is also order of n log n. And worst case complexity is also order of n log n. So answer would remain same in regarding of the which case. So option D is the correct answer. No need to worry. Okay. The next one is the complexity of sorting algorithm measures that the x is a function of number of n of items to be sorted. What is x? So the complexity is basically running time. Complexity always remain uh, 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 sorting algorithms. Complexity always measures the running time. At what running time it taking. The next one is which of the following sorting algorithm in its typical implementation gives best performance when applied on an array which is sorted or almost sorted. So if our array is sorted or almost sorted, then there are basically Two things. Either you can go with insertion or quick sort. But as quick sort time complexity is order of n square, heap sort will take order of n log n, and merge sort will also take order of n log n. But if our uh, our array is sorted or almost sorted, then insertion sort will all, all, all only take order of n as a time complexity. Only order of n if our array is sorted or almost sorted. So option D is the correct answer. It is a typical implement based performance when array is sorted or almost sorted. Okay. The next question is quick sort can be categorized into which of the following brute force technique Divide and conquer, greedy or dynamic. So you all know that quick, in quick sort for a given array, we do a partition. First we do a partition and after that we apply sorting techniques, isn't it? So as we are doing partition earlier, so it is called as divide and then we are sorting. So divide and conquer technique it is. Option B is the correct answer. The next question is which of the following is not an in place in place sorting algorithm. So you uh, do you know what is in place in place sorting algorithms are the algorithms which do not take which do not take any extra memory any extra memory which do not take any extra memory but only merge sort is there which takes extra memory you all know that where is the op per three one that is selection sort, heap sort and quick sort. They do not take any extra space. So the question is which of the following is not an in place sorting algorithm. Merge sort is not an in place sorting algorithm. Okay guys. The next question is the time complexity of heap sort in worst cases. Heap sort worst cases and login. 
order of n log n it is the basically best case is also order of n log n for heap sort average case is also order of n log n and uh, worst case is also order of n log n okay guys you can make note of it this points will gonna very helpful for you for your all upcoming csit exam because if you are attempting any csit exam na then from algorithm they will ask three to four questions either from searching or sorting so just watch our previous lecture where we have uploaded searching algorithm mcqs the link is mentioned in the description section as well and you can also watch analysis of the algorithms because one question is from analysis of algorithm at least they ask one to two question from searching techniques and one to two question from sorting techniques so at least three to four marks you can cover in all your upcoming exam csit exam so guys uh, the links of this uh, videos are mentioned in our description section so you can watch them and you can gain a plentiful amount of knowledge from there because all the questions basically are from the previous year's questions so you can get at least that what kind of uh, uh, questions they are asking and you can get aware of the pattern of the exam as well as the level of exam okay the question number 13 is which of the following algorithm has the lowest worst case time complexity lowest worst case time complexity insertion sort selection sort quick sort or hip sort so lowest worst case okay worst case we are talking about worst case so insertion short worst case is order of n square selection short uh, worst case complexity is order of n square quick sort order of n square and hip sort order of n log n these are the time complexities of worst case for this algorithm so the lowest one is for hip sort option d is correct answer the next one is which sorting algorithm is most efficient most efficient to sort a string consisting of ascii characters which of the sorting algorithm is most efficient to sort a string consist of ascii characters so you all know that whenever whenever we want to sort whenever we want to sort any particular element in range in range means suppose ascii the ascii values are in the range of 0 to 255 so whenever we want to sort in a particular range then counting sort is the answer because it will be more efficient most efficient if we want to sort any array or any sorted sorting any unsorting array in a particular range then counting sort will be preferred okay guys so option d is the correct answer and the next one is the li a list of n string each of length n is sorted into lexicographic order using the merge sort algorithm the worst case running time of this computation is okay useful question once asked in gate also so basically you all know that the worst case time complexity of merge sort is worst case time complexity of merge sort is order of n log n where n is number of elements there but they are saying that each string n strings are there in each of length n n strings are there but every string have a length of n so n into n would be there and log n so basically order of n square log n would be the worst time complexity for merge sort in that particular answer you can get the option b is the right answer n square log n is our answer okay guys so please subscribe our youtube channel press the bell icon button so that you can get more important mcqs and interesting sessions such like that and will helpful for your all upcoming csit exam have a very very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat